All right, here we are in study 25 of Galatians, and today we're going to be looking at verse 6 to 10 of chapter 6. And before we do, we'll answer the questions from chapter 6, verse 1 to 5. So question 1, if a fellow believer has fallen into sin or error, we do all we can to restore them. Instead of bearing the burden of the law, we bear the burden of each other. And instead of living by the Mosaic law, we fulfill the law of Christ. John 13, verse 34 to 35. It's almost a little play on words. Uh, Paul saying, if you want a burden, bear one another. If you want the law, fulfill the law of Christ. Question two then is about our attitude as we do that. The word for restore here is used when speaking of mending a dislocated limb. Consider the tenderness that you would want a doctor to have with your limb. So as we help our fallen brother or sister, it's to be done with gentleness and humility. We have to understand that you and I are no better than the person who has fallen. We have to understand that we might be the next person to fall and how would we want them to treat us? And we have to understand that we too will give an account for our own lives before God. Here's the thing, we help our brothers and sisters as the character of the fruit of the spirit flows out of us into action. So that's why it's saying to do this with meekness and gentleness and humility. We're, we're, carrying, we're bearing the fruit of the, of the Spirit as we're helping one another in this way. So the flesh leads to us biting and devouring one another in selfishness. The law leads to us judging and criticizing one another because of pride. But the grace, the Spirit, the gospel leads to us restoring and serving one another. That's compassion, humility, and generosity. How much a better way is it to live by the grace, by the gospel, by the spirit, than to live by the flesh and by the law? A question for consideration then for you is this. In what ways do you think that you're better than others because of what you have, because of what you know, or because of what you do? And just think through that for some moments. So here we are then in verse 6 to verse 10 of chapter 6. And Paul is continuing this theme of living in relationship with one another as we bear the fruit of the Spirit. So question one, how should we treat those who teach us the Word of God? That's chapter 6, verse 6. Also see 1 Corinthians 9, verse 1 to 14, and 1 Timothy 5, verse 17 to 18. Question two, what should our attitude be as we give, serve, and help? Chapter 6, verse 6 to 9. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58, and Hebrews 6, verse 10. And question three, what should we do with our resources? Chapter 6, verse 10, Luke 6, 35, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 15, 1 Timothy 6, verse 17 to 18, Titus 3, verse 8, Hebrews 13, verse 16, James 1, verse 27, and James 2, verse 15 to 16. I know it's a smattering of readings, but I think it's really helpful as we consider this question. God bless.